wrist beads. If you have your basic wrist and arm spins down, you can try this uh, weave variation. The difference uh, is that with the basic wrist spins, there's always an extra spin until the whip hits the, the arm again, or the wrist again for the next round. And for the wrist weaves, you skip this extra spin and just weave your, your hand around the whip. Um, to show you what I mean, for the basic wrist spins, you start spinning on your plane, then you hold your arm in the way until the whip hits the wrist. You continue to spin the momentum to the other side, and there's a point where the whip leaves the wrist, and then you just keep your, your arm there, and wait until the whip comes around and hits the wrist for the next round, and then you pull it over to the side again, and wait for the next round. And for the wrist weaves, there isn't this extra spin, but the whip touches the wrist constantly. How do you achieve this? The key is to bring your hand in the position that it has when the whip comes around and hits it for the, for the second round. Um, what is this position? So when I come here, um, over right before the whip leaves the wrist, it's in this position, so the, fire, the, the tail end of the whip is in front and the handle end is hanging down behind. And then it goes off and hits from the back. So now you have the position that the tail end is behind the arm and the handle end is in front of the arm. We can spin it over here. For the wheel, this means from this position, um, the moment where the handle end leaves the wrist for the next round, you have to pull your hand out underneath and cross over the fibers right before the handle end comes around to touch the, the wrist again. When you first try this, you can skip your whip a little. Um, so when you come here, then give it a little push. That gives you time to pull your hand out underneath and cross over the fibers again. So it looks like this. Skip and catch. And you can try this a few times. Come from here, let you're in the right position when you cross over. And skip, pull out, cross over right in time before the whip touches again. And you can continue the spin to the other side. So from here, skip, cross over to the ground. And when you're comfortable with this, you can try to leave this skipping, but just do a kind of such a motion. So uh, winding your hand out from underneath and over the fibers. You probably have to watch on, on YouTube and slow mo to see exactly what I'm doing, it's really hard to describe what's exactly happening. So come from here, and then wind your hand around. Come from here, wind your hand around. Wind your hand around. I'm showing it from the side, maybe you can see it better from that angle. So come from here. That's the skip version. Come, come here with the uh, handle behind the wrist. Skip, pull out, cross over, right in time before the handle um, hits again, and continue to spin. Skip. Uh, skip and catch. And to sneak around, or wide around, it's kind of this motion. It's a similar motion, but you really uh, try to, to keep your wrist touching the fibers. From here, coming around this. I'm showing it for the other side, now spinning with my hand on the piece lady side. So you start with the regular wrist spin until you come to here. The 
handle and hang down behind the tail and hang down the front. Then at first you can just skip to pull the hand uh, under and cross over the fibers until the whip um, hits the wrist again. And then here, just a regular one, skip, skip and catch. And eventually, you try this winding motion that you really wind your hand around, which looks like this. And this also from the side, starting on that side with the regular spin and skip. Skip and cross under. Skip and cross. Skip and cross. Or you wind your hand around. Good, like this. So far, I did this weaving motion only on the opposite side of the spinning hand. So, spinning here coming over and here on the opposite side of the spinning hand doing this skip or this uh, weaving motion and come back and here adjust the regular wrist spin. But of course on this side you can do the, uh, the skip version or this weaving version as well. So for this just first start here spinning on the opposite side, hold the wrist in the way and to pull it over here for the starting position. And again, you see the handle is hanging down behind and the fiber end, the tail end, is hanging down in front, but with this kind of crossed arm position. And it's happening the same thing. You, you keep spinning, the handle end leaves the wrist, and at first you can just skip it a little to pull the hand out and then cross. Um, until the fibers hit from the from the top again. So you're in this position and you can pull it over to the other side and here if you want to learn just that side here, just your regular wrist spin. Come over, skip, cross, and then pull over. Skip. Skip and cross. And eventually, you can try this, this weaving motion so the hand winds around and just in time for the, for the hand land to, to hit again. So from here, like so. Show you this also from the side. So start to spin here on the opposite wheel plane to get you in the right starting position. When you're here, the handle end is hanging behind in this crossed R position. Then you skip and catch for the next one here on the other side. For the first time, just uh, the regular wrist spin. Come over here, skip and catch like so. Skip, skip and cross, and eventually just you with your wrist always touching and your hand is just winding around the fibers. Other hand. So starting here on the other wheel plane, on the opposite wheel plane, to get you here in the starting position. Then you skip and catch, cross over, regular wrist from here at first, and here, skip, catch, skip and cross, and eventually just wind your wrist around. And 
And this also from the side, so it's going spinning on the opposite. Wheel plane to get you in the starting position. Skip. Skip and catch. Skip and catch. And eventually just wind your wrist around. When you get both sides down, then you can do them on either side and you get this really smooth image of this wrist spin without the extra spin in between. Again, first just the skip version. It's also a nice effect for itself. Skip, 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 skip. And then just the weaving version. And of course, with both hands. Skip, 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 weave, weave, weave. Weave. That's it. It may take some time to get it really smooth. At least I started out with the skip version and only step by step I could do the really smooth winding around with the wrists. So don't give up, you'll get it.